Hey guys, I'm the one you lost, and in this video I'm going to show you my process for how I made this artwork of Shiori from Hololive. Okay, so I forgot to record most of the sketch, and I'm sorry for that, but it was one of those situations where I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So I'm sorry in advance for this. So we'll just see me kind of complete the sketch and just color it. So right now I'm just checking everything. I have my sketch in a separate folder as I always do. That way I can manipulate it as I go. We're now going to add the base colors to the sketch to make it look more like the final product. I had a lot of fun with the jacket. I do actually kind of regret not showing the hands. Um, mainly because hands can be super expressive, but I'm going to be real. I wanted to be lazy and I didn't want to do the hands, so... My bad. Chiori has some of my favorite color design out of all the Hollow characters. I love black mixed with white hair, it's so cool. Um, I then add a multiply layer to start blocking out all the shapes. I was trying to go for an orange background, but I thought it looked bad, so I ended up not doing it. We then put this on a multiply layer and we're going to start light carving. Light carving, as I've explained in my other videos, is where we put a multiply layer on top and treat our pen like an eraser and make the light come out from the shadow. Added some highlights to the black of the hair. The cool thing about black hair is you can make the shines almost rainbow or metallic. It's a lot of fun. I wish there were more Hollow Live characters with black hair, but Believe it or not, there's only like three or four out of like 20 to 30, almost 50 plus VTubers. It's insane. Then do a tonal curve to make it look like the final product. And now it's time to start adding the line art. I actually forgot to hide the blue behind the character while doing the lines. I didn't notice it until later. So we're gonna have some distracting blue here. I like to go with a lot of detail on the uh, collar just because, man, I love drawing collars. Like, collars and chokers are so much fun. Start drawing in the breasts. It's, it's really important when you draw breasts to give them weight and make them look like they're being held up or morphed in some way. Even if it's not fully realistic, it adds more interesting looks or dynamics to the artwork. Um, Sorry for the long pauses, sometimes I have to stop and collect my thoughts. Drawing the jacket now. There's lots of creases in this jacket. I want it to be very baggy and hang off the character in a loose way on the left, but a tighter, more uh, stretched jacket on the right. Adding some loose areas and folds to the cloth with the arm right here. Thick up the lines to make it look more dynamic and interesting. The leg was something I, I was really hoping would work, mainly because I felt like the, the leg being in front of the camera made it a little more dynamic in the composition. And I think it did okay. Not, not really my favorite, but it, it did all right. Here come the eyes, my favorite part to draw. Eyes and hair, every time. It's, I love drawing them so much. I had to adjust the face a little bit. It, it felt kind of off while I was working on line art. I think I did really good on the hair this time. I, I've said in almost every video I've made that hair is something that's very tricky to get right. So I feel like I'm finally starting to figure out hair and I'm, it's super exciting for me.
as you can see, there's lots of zooming in and zooming out to kind of check the artwork to make sure it looks correct. I tend to zoom out on the hair, maybe I shouldn't, um, but I end up doing it a lot, so... Oops. <laughs> I love drawing ears to be fluffy. It really is just so much fun. We are almost done with the line art now. Alright, now we're starting the base colors. Um, I have my colors saved for skin over here. Um, if you would like me to post my skin tones and what I use the color in the comments, I can do that. Just let me know if you're interested and I'll drop a download for you. Almost done with the base colors. Now I highlight the areas in the breasts, that way I can use an airbrush to kind of create roundness to them. Um, I find that always works better than just painting them on. We're going to let the multiply layer do the bulk of the shading on the skin. This is just to add some kind of like dimension to it. Now we do light carving on the skin. That's kind of the whole goal here. Now we're starting to shade the clothes. I went for cell shading with the clothes just because I prefer that look. Makes it simple yet kind of nice to look at. Adding the highlights now. Now we're doing the hair. The hair. Oh lord help me the hair. <laughs> yeah figuring out how to shade hair has always been tricky for me. But I think I did pretty good this time. Added the highlights to make, make it look pretty. Now adding the add glow layers on top to make the skin and the parts of the hair shine. Start working on the eyes. Alright, we're almost done. Add, in, add color to the line art, add a hard light layer on top. Now the tonal curve. And now I kind of add a little border here to make it interesting. And that's the finished artwork. If you enjoyed this video, I hope that you uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Helps out a whole lot. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!